Hi everyone, this is Jennifer Madrill, and I'm just going to take you through a quick review of what the design proposal will look like when you're done. So as you can see from this image here, it looks an awful lot like the design guide. What you'll start out doing first is describing your lesson. And as you can see here, I've put in some canned language for the lesson title and the abstract. Scrolling down the learner audience, the primary users, educational use, and of course the college and career readiness standards alignment where we've shown the level, the subject, grade level, as well as standard citation and alignment text. Scrolling down, the material type that you have developed, learning goals, keywords, time required for the lesson, prior knowledge, and so on, through to part two, which is then your actual lesson. And here's where you'll outline your lesson objectives, the topic, the context summary, relevance to practice, key terms and concepts, and then you'll get into describing what the actual instructional activities and strategies will be. And so here are each of the areas that are outlined in the design guide, including also then the time required for each of these components. So you may have noticed I said originally this lesson would be about a 25 minute lesson, so this is breaking down those components by what the instructional activities will be within the lesson. And then finally, part three, which is the supplementary resources and references. And again, I put some canned language in here to give you a sense of what that would look like. Concluding with the attribution statement where we have used some type of resource from Creative Commons and have included that at the end.